Hello friends, we are in the latest episode of Transfer News. We are evaluating the agenda before the winter transfer period. Before we start the video, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you can subscribe now. By subscribing and liking the video, you give the biggest support. Enjoy watching. Bayern coach Thomas Tuchel spoke. Do I want to sign a contract with Kylian Mbappe? Yes, he will play for us, that's very clear. Joking aside, we have a good relationship. If he wants to come, I would even go to pick him up on a bicycle. But I think this won't be a reality, he said. Tuchel is dreaming of his former student Kylian Mbappe. Signing Mbappe with Bayern would literally explode in the Bundesliga. With another superstar coming after Harry Kane, Bundesliga would take a significant step towards becoming the second best league. Tuchel openly flirting with him surprised me. In this period when it is said that Real Madrid is behind in this transfer, it's a tactical move from Tuchel. It will be free next season, so everyone has a chance. Bayern could compete with Real Madrid. By the way, Real Madrid is still the most serious candidate, but they are considering waiting. In fact, the first move should come from Mbappe. President Perez wants to hear the phrase I want to play at Real Madrid from Mbappe. After that, it would be much faster and easier. Imagine Mbappe, Kane, and Sane in the scenario where Sane stays with Bayern. It's worth Tuchel going to pick them up on a bicycle. Bayern Munich earned its highest revenue in history last year, exceeding pre-pandemic levels by over 100 million euros. Bayern announced a record turnover, maintaining their debt-free status. It's an extraordinary success in European top-tier football. While we might not definitively say they are the world's greatest team, they are arguably the best managed. In a recent board meeting that lasted eight to nine hours, Bayern discussed their plans to be active in the transfer market for a defender in January. They are preparing for a second meeting with Tottenham in less than a year, aiming to finalize the transfer of defender Eric Dier. Despite the absence of injuries, the need for reinforcements in defense has become a necessity. Dier, at 29, is entering the last six months of his contract, making Bayern view this as an opportunity. Of course, the price has likely decreased, and Eric Dier and Harry Kane could reunite once again. He is Bayern's top choice for the defensive position, and an offer could be made at any moment. A midfield move is also on the agenda, with the persistent mention of Paulinho, whom they had previously pursued. Originally expected to go to Liverpool, his plans changed due to a broken arm. Now, Bayern is back in the picture, and while the August transfer didn't materialize, the continued interest from Bayern is a source of pride. There is a reason for everything that happens in my life, and I am looking to the future with this determination, he said. Osman spoke about the offer from Al-Hilal, saying it was crazy as they kept increasing their financial offer despite his repeated refusals. It was something that would change his life, but he stated that he decided to stay. In the continuation of his statement, Osman left the door open for both Chelsea and Manchester United. It's clear that he is willing to embark on a new adventure. Napoli is in talks for a new contract, but keeping him seems very difficult. He won't come cheap for Chelsea or United. They had a bad start to the league, ending the dream from last season. They are 10 points behind the leader and in the fourth position. Newcastle United is looking for a midfielder to replace Sandro Tonali. One prominent candidate is Ruben Neves. Newcastle is under pressure to make a midfield transfer, as they want to bring Nevis back from Saudi Arabia. The owners of Newcastle and Al-Hilal are the same company in person, so a faster progression of the transfer was expected. Newcastle coach Eddie Howe even confirmed this. Is Ruben Nevis an option? Yes, he was a player we liked when he was at Wolves. If he is good enough and can improve our team, I'm open to transfers from anywhere, Howe stated. However, the Premier League administration is preparing to block inter-team loan transfers within the same company and ownership. In practice, if a person has two supermarkets, they can move products from one store to another. But when it comes to football, it is not evaluated the same way. In other words, it is considered unethical for Al-Hilal which paid 40 million euros for Ruben Neves, to loan him to Newcastle for only 5 million euros. Many companies today own multiple teams. If a rule is to be introduced, it should be applicable to all countries. For instance, the owner of City has multiple teams, and they constantly engage in transfers among themselves. There is no problem with the supermarket logic they apply, but whether it is ethical or not can be debated until morning. Brighton sought after forward Evan Ferguson signed a new contract with his team on Friday. The 19-year-old Ferguson's contract now extends until 2029. He was a player coveted by both Liverpool and Tottenham. Now, both teams will have to look for another player. Premier League's assist King Neto is one of the sought-after names in the transfer market. Arsenal is in the race for the 23-year-old winger from Wolves. 
do they need him? Yes, it's possible. However, the debate revolves around whether Nito's position aligns with their positional priorities. Angel Di Maria is preparing to return to his hometown club, Rosario Central, where he began his football career. The Argentine star will return to his country after completing the season with Benfica. He has spoken with Rosario officials and promised to come back in June of next year. The 35-year-old player was having a very good year and could have stayed for another season. However, it is his last year in Europe. Even his rejection of offers from Arabian teams and accepting a lower salary to join Benfica was truly remarkable. A character that deserves appreciation. Barcelona is planning to transfer Nigerian national team player Wilfred Ndidi. They aim to strengthen their midfield. However, they would have to pay the transfer fee for Ndidi in January. Therefore, they will try to sign him on a free transfer in June. Ndidi and Leicester have not reached a new agreement yet. Zaire Emery could be Paris's greatest asset. Joining PSG's youth system at the age of 8, Emery has now become an integral part of Paris's starting 11. At the age of 17, he plays on the field as if he's in a video game, so effortlessly. Currently, in the 15 matches he has played, he scored two goals and provided five assists. Guardiola is already keen on acquiring him for the next season. However, PSG is uncomfortable with this interest. There are talks in the media about 80 million euros at the moment. According to rumors, Paris might not even respond to this offer. Case Miro is preparing to leave Manchester United next season. The Reds are willing to sell him and are open to considering a reasonable offer. The player could potentially transfer to Saudi Arabia, and he will assess the offer. The 31-year-old Brazilian does not consider it too early for a move to Saudi Arabia. Inter Miami's plan after Suarez is Modric. However, they have not been able to persuade Modric on this matter. They have made a backup plan. If Modric is not available, they want Rakitic. They are ready to convince the player. We have always looked at it from Modric's perspective, but the Rakitic-Busquets duo is also very exciting. Arsenal has joined the race for the transfer of Ivan Tony. They are ready to make an offer for the striker. However, to finance Tony's transfer, they need to raise a significant amount of money. According to the financial fair play regulations of Arsenal, they need to sell players before making acquisitions. In the summer of 2023, they made intensive spending to bring in Declan Rice, Kai Havertz, and Julian Timber. Now, they need to raise a substantial amount of money for Tony to sign in January. Players like Party and even David Raya could leave the team. Eberecki Ease had become the player taking over from Wilfred Zaha at Crystal Palace. There were transfer speculations about him as well. However, he is staying and has reached an agreement with Palace for a new contract. As expected, Diego Simeone has stayed at Atletico Madrid. He has been at the helm of the team since 2011, and the new contract extends until 2027. If he completes the contract, he will have spent 16 years, which is a rare situation at this level. If Griezmann scores just four more goals, he will become the all-time leading scorer in Atletico Madrid's history, as per Simeone, Griezmann is Atletico Madrid itself. At the beginning of the season, Simeone made a statement about understanding Griezmann's transfer to Saudi Arabia, citing incredible amounts of money. Even if they already earn a lot of money, some players want to secure the future for their children and grandchildren, and Simeone finds this normal. There is also interest from Saudi Arabian teams. If Al Nasser reduces the number of foreign players in their squad, they will make an offer to him. In Saudi Arabia, the foreign player rule allows for six on the field and two on the bench, a total of eight foreign players. Currently, Al Nasser is already on the limit, and they need to part ways with some players to make moves. The 32-year-old Frenchman has managed to score 12 goals in 16 matches this season. His farewell to Europe, especially for La Liga, would be quite significant. Kyle Walker will turn 34 next year at Manchester City. He is still fast and among the best but a departure might be on the horizon. Sheffield United, his hometown club where he started his football journey, is set to make an offer. He doesn't want to go to Saudi Arabia or the United States, so staying in England is very likely. Guardiola has mentioned Rhys James, a fellow countryman, as a replacement for Walker. He has urged City to make a move for the Prince of Chelsea. However, Chelsea is not considering selling him. They have emphasized the importance of the fullback player for the team and expressed that he loves the club. They stated that they are not negotiating or holding discussions with any other team. Of course, City's interest is still quite new. If the Blues decide to let him go, it would be challenging to keep him.
Inter is pursuing JLo as a free agent in 2024, and many teams are interested. Inter will make an offer to him before the price increases. They also have negotiating rights in January. The 23-year-old Portuguese player has not reached an agreement with Lille yet. Meanwhile, we expect them to make a move in the striker position. Their starting 11, with Turam and Lautaro, is excellent. One is a goal king, the other an assist king. The team is leading in the league. What more could you ask for? However, they are still planning to sign another striker. Serho Girassi scored 15 goals in nine matches in the Bundesliga. As mentioned before, he has a release clause below 20 million euros. Both Milan and Inter have been tracking the player for a long time. Additionally, Monaco closely monitored his latest match. Leicester City continues to lead in a lower league in England. Moreover, despite losing their last two matches, the probability of them getting promoted to the Premier League next season is very high. They are set to make an offer for their former player Harry Maguire. It is reported that the player wants to return, and this transfer would benefit him the most. Sancho has received the highest offer for his transfer from Saudi Arabia, but he expresses that he does not want to go there. The Saudis persistently stay at the table, but Sancho is firm on his decision. Juventus is also monitoring his situation, but their priority is Domenico Berardi who is currently available. Sancho is not on the market. Borussia Dortmund, on the other hand, is the team with the highest chance in the transfer. Sancho prefers to return to Dortmund, and they will also cover a portion of his salary. Tottenham is interested in expanding their rotation, but their chances are slim. Chilean Alexis Sanchez's transfer to a club in America is on the agenda for the next season. He will leave Inter at the end of the season. The 34-year-old Sanchez could make a move to the Mexican league. Real Madrid is pursuing Alfonso Davies, who has a contract with Bayern until 2025. He is considered one of the best defenders globally, and Bayern is eager to keep him. However, the player is happy with Madrid's interest. If he does not accept the new contract, Bayern Munich might sell him to Real Madrid, ensuring they don't lose him for free. Andre Ayew, who has been a free agent for a while, has transferred to Le Havre in France. The contract is for seven months and they will reassess the situation with the 33-year-old player at the end of the season. Meanwhile, Jeron Boateng, who is currently without a team, is trying to secure a transfer somewhere. He was last in talks with Heidenheim, a new team in the Bundesliga. However, due to health issues, they also backed out of the negotiations. They called him for a meeting, then rejected him without discussing money. According to the manager's statement, Boateng is very upset about this situation. Things have turned around at Tottenham. This snapshot summarizes the situation. Star defender van der Ven and key player James Madison are injured. Tottenham wants to make an offer to Bournemouth's defender Lloyd Kelly. In fact, they have to make an offer. The transfer is rumored to be completed for 25 or 30 million euros. They are one of the teams in urgent need of a transfer. They have to do it right away. Steven Eustaquio, who currently plays for Porto, could make a surprise transfer to Manchester City. Following Phillips' departure, Guardiola is set to acquire a midfielder, and City has been closely monitoring Eustaquio for some time. The Canadian recently moved to Porto for 4 million euros. Given that he won't pose issues being a substitute in Guardiola's team, a transfer for the 26-year-old player is expected. He currently ranks as the second player covering the most distance in the Champions League so far. Real Madrid has reached an agreement with Eder Militao for a new contract. Contract negotiations are still ongoing. An official statement will be released shortly. Yes, friends, we've come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye.